हेलो माइक चेक हेलो एवरीवन हाय पटेल प्लीज चेक माय वॉइस ओके हेलो एवरीवन वी आर इन द डिस्कशन ऑफ अर्ली क्लिनिकल एक्सपोजर एंड टुडेज केस ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन इज रिकेट्स ओके rickets there is involvement of bone in the rickets this topic belongs to vitamins that is fat soluble vitamins a d e k this is early clinical exposure series for first mbbs examination and we are discussing the important clinical cases that are frequently asked in the first mbbs university examination so today we'll discuss the rickets so what will be the clinical presentation what are the different laboratory parameters that raise or decreases in these uh, diseases that we will discuss okay now see the clinical case a 4 year old boy was brought to the clinic with chief complaint of bow legs bow legs curved legs examination revealed prominent costochondral junctions and prominent forehead prominent forehead serum alkaline phosphatase was raised alp was raised and the calcium was low what is your probable diagnosis so what are the different sub questions in this topic what is your diagnosis why bow leg occurs in this disease why alp raised and calcium levels are low and what is the treatment suggested what what is the this does not indicate the exact treatment but what is the treatment suggested these are the sub questions in this topic so here the diagnosis is as there is what are the key features in this clinical case see the age of the child it is 4 year old with chief complaints of bow legs bow legs bow bowing of the legs uh, that is known as genu varum varum deformity means knees are placed uh, means uh, valgum means gum stick together and varum deformity means uh, they are uh, there is distance between the uh, knee joint that is known as genu varum deformity examination revealed prominent costochondral junction that is known as rachitic rosary these are the key features then prominent forehead that is also known as frontal bossing and serum alkaline uh, phosphatase level was raised and calcium level was low so here the diagnosis is rickets due to deficiency of vitamin d vitamin d deficient rickets vitamin d deficiency rickets this disease due to vitamin d deficiency in adult it is known as osteomalacia it is known as osteomalacia and what are the features for the osteomalacia there may be a history of frequent bone fractures then proximal muscle weakness then raised alkaline phosphatase level and decrease in the serum calcium level these are the manifestations in the osteomalacia there is decrease bone mineral density that leads to the osteoporosis and frequent fracture of the bones in the adult okay so why bow legs occurs in this disease why alp raised and calcium levels are low that we'll discuss why bow legs bowing of the legs why there is there are classical symptoms in the vitamin d deficiency what are the symptoms cranio tebis cranio tebis means ping pong feel like skull ping pong feel like skull apne smiley ball dekha hai usko press kiya to usse press hota aur jhat se release hua spring spring jaisa uska ye ho jata so it is a ping pong ball appearance of the skull that is known as cranio tebis then wide open fontanel is delayed closer of the fontanel is frontal bossing then jab wo crawl karne lagta jab bachcha crawl karta hai so because of weight on this joint wrist joint there is widening of the wrist and this is also a x ray feature widening of the wrist jab bachcha chal chalne lagta hai because of decrease mineralization of bone because vitamin d it is required for the 
mineralization of bone deficiency of vitamin d causes spongy bones it causes the spongy bones decrease mineralization of bone that easily becomes curved जब वो चलने लगता है बिकॉज ऑफ बिकॉज ऑफ द वेट द वेट बेरिंग जॉइंट ऑफ द लेग्स दे गेट बोर्ड बिकॉज ऑफ डिक्रीज मिनरलाइजेशन ऑफ द बोन सो बोइंग ऑफ द लेग विल बी देयर सो बोइंग ऑफ द लेग्स देन प्रोमिनंट एंड वाइड कॉस्टोकॉन्ड्रल जंक्शन दैट इज नोन एज रैकेटिक रोजरी इट इज ए फीचर ऑफ द रिकेट्स देन द प्रोमिनंट स्टर्नम and the uh, along the insertion of diaphragm there is horizontal sulcus that is known as hori harrison sulcus so these are the features of the ricket kya kya bataya maine ping pong ball like skull that is known as cranio tabis wide open fontanelli prominent forehead prominent stern sternum then the prom, uh, prominent and widened costochondral junctions then harrison sulcus which is along the insertion of the diaphragm pulling of the ribs because of the diaphragm gives the horizontal sulcus that is known as horis harrison sulcus that is known as harrison sulcus so there is bone deformity in the rickets because of deficiency of the calcium so vitamin d is required for regulation of the calcium level there are three target hormones for the vitamin d which are these target hormones so it acts on the vitamin d it acts like hormone it acts like hormone it acts like steroid hormone steroid hormone intracytoplasmic receptors they binds with the receptor receptors present in the cytoplasm so it through intracellular receptors they act it acts like steroid hormone and it has three target tissues bone intestine and kidneys kidneys so it regulates the calcium and phosphorus level in the bone it is responsible for the mineralization of bone mineralization of bone calcium is important for mineralization of bone in the intestine it increases the absorption of the calcium absorption of calcium from the intestine and in the kidney it is important for the reabsorption of the calcium so it is important for the calcium and phosphorus regulation it is important for the mineralization of the calcium so that's why vitamin d is important and deficiency causes defect in the mineralization that causes the spongy bone and the weight bearing bones become bowed so wide wrist crawl jab karta hai bachcha to wrist bhi wide ho jate hai jab bachcha chalne lagta hai to bowing of the legs ho jate as bones are affected in this disorder bones are affected in this disorder so there is bone specific isoenzyme of alkaline phosphatase that is known as the pre beta pre beta isoenzymes of alkaline phosphatase it is increases and normal alp level there is increase in the alkaline phosphatase activity it is more than 25 times of the normal in uh, alkaline phosphatase slightly raised in hepatic jaundice it is 10 to 12 times raised in the obstructive jaundice but more than 25 times raised in the alkaline phosphatase level indicates the bone disorder the total this, this pre beta accounts for the 50% of the total alkaline phosphatase activity so uh, this in uh, this is because of increase in the osteoblastic activity of the bone so pre beta alkaline phosphatase activity raised so that's why alkaline phosphate is raised it is 25 times of the uh, normal raised alp it is in the rickets it is in the osteomalacia it is in the uh, pagets disease of the bone it is in the metastasis of the bone like in this disorder there is increase in the alkaline phosphatase activity occurs so th th that's why there is raised alp levels and as calcium is regulated by the vitamin d Uh, it is regulated by the parath hormone it is really regulated by the calcium so vitamin d is important for the regulation of calcium so as vitamin d deficiency is their calcium level decreases so what what is the treatment suggested in this disorder so suggested treatment is uh, increase exposure to the sunlight because vitamin d is very very important sunlight is very very important for conversion of 7 dehydrocholesterol into into a cholecalciferol so that's why sun exposure is important vitamin d rich foods miss seafoods meat 
these are the foods which are rich uh, and the fish oils these are rich in the vitamin d activity so increased consumption of these foods this is important it is uh, it is synthesized from the cholesterol so cholesterol rich food should be taken in the diet so the diagnosis here is see bowing of the legs so this is known as the bowing of the legs rickets this deformity genu varum deformity dono do ek dusre se dur hai agar knee joint aise stick together ho gaye to wo gum valgum genu valgum deformity so this is the rickets as there is bowing of the legs occurs in the scurvy typical feature is the bleeding gums and the petechial hemorrhages all over the body phrynoderma it is due to essential fatty acid and vitamin a deficiency there is hyperkeratosis and toad like skin in phrynoderma in pellagra there is diarrhea dementia dermatitis so here it is rickets see vitamin d the active form of vitamin d is 125 dihydroxy cholecalciferol another name of 125 dihydroxy cholecalciferol is calcitriol it is calcitriol it is also known as hormone because it it acts like a steroid uh, steroid hormone it has intracellular receptor uh, and it has three target organs bone intestine and kidney and it it is responsible for regulation of calcium level what is rda of vitamin d vitamin d in children it is 10 microgram in adult it is 5 microgram in pregnancy and lactation it is 10 microgram so requirement is more in case of the children growing age group pregnancy and lactation requirement is more that is 400 international unit or 10 microgram what is the function of vitamin d it is required for absorption of calcium mineralization of bone uh it acts on intestine bone and kidney and it regulates the calcium level it regulates the calcium and phosphorus level deficiency in the children it is known as rickets and in the adult it is known as osteomalacia dietary sources the cholesterol rich food that in uh, that includes egg yolk egg yolk meat fish oil sea foods so these are the different food stuffs which are which contain cholesterol so cholesterol cholesterol that is seven dehydro cholesterol which is present in the stratum corneum layer of epidermis on exposure to the sunlight on exposure to the uv rays it is converted into active form of the vitamin d that is it is converted into cholecalciferol it is converted into cholecalciferol it is converted into vitamin d3 and this on this vitamin d3 there is the 25 hydroxylase action which forms in the liver so 25 hydroxylase converts this cholecalciferol into 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol which is by the action of the 1 alpha hydroxylase in the kidney it is converted into 125 dihydroxy cholecalciferol that is known as calcitriol this is active form of vitamin d so cholesterol is a precursor for the vitamin d it is also known as hormone it is important for the mineralization of bone it regulates the calcium and phosphorus level in the body it is also has immunomodulatory action and vitamin d is important for increase the to increase the vitamin d activity increases the sun expo increase the sun exposure and increases the increases the cholesterol rich diet uh, in the food means uh, take the cholesterol rich uh, food that will increase your vitamin d level okay so this is all about the discussion of the rickets in adult it causes osteomalacia which in in osteomalacia there is frequent bone fractures proximal muscle weakness raised alkaline phosphatase activity low serum calcium level these are the findings in the adult also there is decreased bone mineral density uh, and that causes the osteoporosis so this is all about the discussion of rickets and in short about the osteomalacia so keep watching ec series thank you very much